there's a difference between you and me. You probably just got this cover. Shimonga got this one. Alex Ross was outdone by this variant. This might be my favorite Black Panther cover since the Patrick Gleason Webhead version. Look at all of those eyes reflecting on them Panthers. Beautiful stuff. This comic book. This was my favorite John Ridley comic book, April Fools. I don't <laughs> I don't like this writer. It starts off with this. You see, the first sentence there is Storm saying, "Man, what a great idea that Okoye brought the suit." Comics can be rewritten at the last moment. The editor probably looked and realized, "Ooh, what the hell is he doing with wearing that?" Let's have somebody explain it. So we'll throw away a line that glad Okoye thought to bring your suit. How does Okoye have possession of his suit? Exactly. Ex they're not on hold my suit terms, or were they? This book is incredibly bad. This book is incredibly bad for the lingo again, because there is more BS uh, wrong talking the way that Africans wouldn't actually be speaking. Um, maybe Af maybe black people who live in America could speak this way, but Africans, no. I think there was a line where they're like, yo, beggars can't be choosers. Hmm? Beggars, that's a proverb. That There's just certain sayings that we say we're familiar with. Sticks and stones can hurt my bones, but names will never hurt me. I've heard that one. They're not, they're from another place where they speak another language that I don't think that would come up in conversation. Doesn't, doesn't work with me. In here, T'Challa says, yo, it's my guilt. I'm going to be here alone. And they're treating him like he's the bad guy. Uh, the readers aren't. I'm not. I, I, I treat T'Challa like he's the king. Did what he had to do. No problem with having these war dogs. No problem with keeping secrets. But we know what happens when secrets come out. Achilles is totally in the wrong here. And he's a coward. There's a... Oh, yeah, back at you. That was, there was a line that said that. Now, here, here's the thing that's interesting. Tosin. The character named Tosin refers to T'Challa as an oppressor. To me, I go, what are you talking about? And that's good. That's the reaction. I, I have an emotional reaction to the words that came out of this character. I want to see what he's all about. Is he is he going to climb the ranks and become king? Is he interested in that? Are we done with the king stuff? Because by the end of it, Fulashade is still giving out orders like, all right, this is what we need to do. This is what we need to do. And I'm like, well, why is Full Shot talking? But yeah, it's a bad comic book. So everyone leaves, even though T'Challa just helped save everything. It's, uh, everyone just leaves T'Challa alone. Full Shot, her exact words at the end was, we have time, this moment, all of us, we won't last, but Wakanda is forever. Oh, yeah, what? what are you talking about? Like we, all right. And they all just leave T'Challa to be by, him, by his lonesome there. This isn't a comic book. This is not a Black Panther comic book. This is so bizarre to me. I wrote notes. I'm looking. Oh, there was too much dialogue during a punch uh, what T'Challa gave. Fulashade is awesome. I, the reader, disagree. So there was a line where Shuri said that. And then there was a second line where they... There was a first line where they said something about... um. Yo, you can tell I don't care because usually I would restart reviews like this because I keep you know, messing up my words and stuff. But I, you, I clearly just do not care. I care about T'Challa. He's the guy in the title. He's not. It's not just about a title um, man, mantle. T'Challa is really important to me. So no matter how much love we give to Tosin and Folashadi and Shuri and all them, this is the T'Challa comic book. Another thing I wrote is when a character says, I'm going to hand you your ass. Guys, literally, okay? When you're handed something, it means, you know, through hands, something was transmitted. I'm going to hand you your ass. That person's buttocks has to be detached from him for you to hand it to him, right? Like literally, that's what that sounds like. But figuratively, we know what that means. Guys, where are where did a Wakandan learn that saying, that English saying? It doesn't translate anywhere else, does it? Yeah, like someone doesn't get language. Someone doesn't get proverbs, sayings. Someone's just not picking up on how these characters should sound when they speak like T'Challa asking Achille to say my name huh when did he ever care about that kind of stuff the the guy I've known for all the comics that I've read of him many comics probably over 50 comics I've read of T'Challa 
maybe even a hundred, maybe of a hundred. He doesn't say that. He doesn't talk that way. Uh, maybe I got to read the other 105 comics to know, but I've never thought of T'Challa as a guy who's beating you up and saying, say my name, hey, recognize that I'm the king. It's not like that. It was, even in the movie, I remember Ramonda was like, tell him who you are. Shuri said that. And and then he's like, I'm T'Challa. Like, yeah, he'll, he'll amp himself up. But it just was way off-putting to hear that. Very off-putting. Okay. Achilles takes his own life. Achilles, in a surprise move, stabs himself. And I go, oh, here's why this is not a comic book. This is not a comic book thinking, thinking writer. You have to consider the long-term ramifications of this story. You create a villain. Cool. This villain is now a villain for the rest of his entirety of his, of his life. Think of ways to get him off of the panels off the screen or out of the immediate threat of this guy. Think of ways to subdue him without actually killing him because once you kill him that's the end of the story theoretically of course it's comic books and everyone can return but i shit on that the, the how death is dead i don't want just because it can happen i'm not really fond of yo killmonger's back now because the symbiote i don't like deaths being undone don't don't kill him don't kill achilles like i can't believe he actually died that's it the long term we need this character to be alive because you just created a Black Panther villain. That's good. A Black Panther villain is good. That is something good you did. Just like how you created Tosin John Ridley is a good thing because he's something that I'm still interested in, in him. See where he goes next. How does this adventure affect him? Did it change his mind? Did it, or We don't even know who he is yet. Like Likewise with Achilles. How does this change him? Black Panther needs some villains, man. He's got Killmonger. He's got um, you know, you know, Ulysses Claw is the two bigger big guys. And Baku's, um, Baku's there, but he's not a villain villain, is he? Um, what's the one that Big Bro keeps telling me about that Giancarlo Esposito should play? Is it Apache? I don't know how to say the name, but it's from the Christopher Priest run. That dude, like, he doesn't have villain villains. So Achille could have been like a cool from the inside type of villain. He's not. Folashade is a villain to me. John Ridley is a rookie writer. Didn't think this through. Will Moss probably doesn't read these books. If he is, I just said he was in the beginning of my review. Uh, Foolish Shade was making orders and that confused me. And then I'm confused at the ending of how T'Challa lost. Huh? He just said, leave me alone. Like, why is he left alone? Like, he, he lost. He's, he, he solved the problem, you know? The threat is gone. Why is he all alone? By, by Storm even. Storm even leaves him alone. Very bizarre. But um, not a fan of what's happening here with the character. You know, you bring down characters just to take them back up a notch. T'Challa didn't need that right now in his, not just his movies and or not just his comic books everywhere. T'Challa needs some wins, man. I need some exciting Black Panther stories. Remind me, inspire me why this guy is the super, the superhero. And uh, that's not what we got in these eight issues. We'll see where they, where they go next. Not a fan. Big time, not a fan. Like, hugely not a fan. Will I keep supporting and purchasing the comic book? Yes, because I believe I need to support the Black Panther comic to get more. Yes, still, I do. As bad as these comic book stories are, I did not reach my breaking point yet, like Marcus from Back of the Bus has. Um, I How do I say this? The movie, Wakanda Forever, not, not buying a ticket. I'm not paying money to see T'Challa die. It's against my uh, wishes. So if I fund that, I'd be saying, okay, we're, we're good for the next few years of no T'Challa. But I think if the movie makes less money, the recast is likely. They'll, oh, we got to change something that's not working. The first time around, we made a billion. Second time around, we made less. We need to recast. We need to continue T'Challa like the fans always wanted. I feel like that's what the message would be when it gets across. That's why I withhold my money from there. Here, I'm not certain that Will Moss... Or Dan Buckley, the guys at the top of Marvel, C.B. Sibolsky. I'm not sure they'll register that as, well, John really must suck as a writer. They're getting Brian Hill, who is himself like a TV guy. He's done some comic books, of course. Fallen Angels, I remember. Killmonger, five issues. He's So he's not a rookie. He's, he's sophomore. <laughs> uh, they're still not getting the writers I want to get on black panther and that's a troublesome man we need a hashtag for that we need hashtag black panther writer i don't know someone in the comment section could think of the hashtag thank you for all 
nine minutes and 15, 10 minutes that you've allotted to me, I appreciate the heck out of you. 